How's it going? Now, you can probably tell by the title that I'm making an Antwi Arena. We've got all the polycarb. The arena's down there. Let's get this thing built. So this is what I've got so far. A metre square piece of plywood with a base metal around the sides for the walls so a robot can be put out of the arena. And we have a spacer for the pit. A template for the pit, not spacer. So the idea is, that this is pretty much the arena almost done, aside from just making the pit. I cut out the hole for the pit. Pretty much polycarbonate on the other side, make a couple of doors. A fairly straightforward box sort of idea, with a few little bits and pieces in between. So it's getting there. There is a bit of a bone, I think. I've um, I maybe should have put the panels, uh, like one of the panels I've angled, pieces of metal on last, just so the rest of it was hooked on. But also, I'm gonna need to be able to secure this to the actual side as well, just to make sure. Because I mean, I could just put the the lid on just as is, but I'd rather have it really secure. And I'm not going to be able to get it, the screws in from this side. Well, the, the, the bolt and the nut from this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole for the door on uh, two of the sides, cut it in there, make the door for it, and then from there I'll be able to screw this one in and make sure everything is fully secure and then we can move on to the next step. start fully assembling everything together. I'm going to be attaching the panels back on. They've been coated with a silver paint and also the wood top has been painted with a sort of a lightish yellow. You know, just to sort of make it look, look a lot more interesting than just the plain wood. So we're going to screw these on. I'm going to put some tape around the barrier, like hazard tape or something similar. And then once that's on, we'll fit the box on and then take it from there. Two solid weeks all together with a couple of days missed out weather, the arena is finally finished and to be honest I am so happy with this. I am going to have to tidy it up around at the edges, some of the plastic still on the sort of like the film that's on. I'll get that off but at the minute I'm just wanting to marvel in this thing's glory <laughs> for a little while. Really happy with how this turned out but an arena like this is no use without a couple of robots in it. So let's get a bottle going.
3, 2, 1, activate. And Grace in the Arena for the first time, it's Petrify and Hedge. Hedge being the blue and pink hexagonal wedge. And Petrify, as we know, has that loom and claw over the top, trying to control the battle, as the control bot usually would, but Hedge is quite low to the ground. And running over the top of Hedge, and managed to slam it into the corner, bringing down the claw. Now maybe trying to control them towards the pit, on nope, slamming them into the wall. And I think Hedge might be stuck under the arena wall. Petrify. Dragging them, bo dragging them back out. Keep the fight going for a little bit longer. Hedge, with just that ramp, with no other weapon. What other threat are they going to pose to Petrify? And they've managed to grab them by the back. Nearly take them towards the pit, but Hedge still has one of its wheels still on the ground. And let them go. And that was Petrify that seems to be stuck under the barrier. I have to repair that. And a proper grab, grabbing it by the wheels, nearly lifting Hedge up and over. Not quite. I managed it to get underneath one another. But oh, that was so close. Hedge running right over the top of the pit. And now, other four wheel of. And Petrify have got in as well. Hedge, too close to the pit, tried to drive, got stuck one wheel over the edge. Petrify pushed them in. And then Petrify followed in with them. A decent fight, a lot of good control there, but uh, that uh, that will do it from here. So, overall, really happy with this. Held up pretty well. I mean, yes, I've still got to test it with a spinner, but because I've gotten the angled iron at the side before the polycarbonate, it should be okay, but I might put some extra kick plates at the other side of here, and should put up a bit more protection, but we'll, we'll see as time goes on. Anyway. Very happy with this, and just ignore Ultros in the buck. Uh, yeah. I am planning to get some events going up here. So once I get everything done and other projects I've got and planned out of the way and finished, this is going to be going out and I'll be having some events going. So who knows, maybe I'll see you at uh, one of these events and have you fighting in here. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Thanks very much for checking it out. If you want to see some other stuff I've done, including making my other arena, I'll leave a link just there. And if you want to subscribe to see what I've got coming next, including making some more ant weights and other bits and pieces, I'll have a link just there. So that's it for this one. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bit big for a house robot, eh? Oh, that's an idea.